Saturday guys. So today we are going to do a dumbbell edition. So that can be two pounds, five pounds, 10, 20, whatever you've got laying around or whatever you can find that's equal weight that we can use to do some upper body workouts today. So let's go ahead, we'll get right into it. Let's start our stretching. I'm just bringing the arm back, stretching it as far as I can, down my shoulder blade. Okay, we're gonna work the shoulders today, so we definitely wanna get some good stretch going on there. Pull your arm across. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I was excited about doing this one today. Okay, I'm going to stretch my legs, of course. Just a full body stretch. I know usually we do jumping jacks, we do some kind of elliptical, something like that. But today, let's go ahead and mix it up. I don't want you guys to get tired of the same old thing. So we're gonna go ahead and just do toe touches. We're just gonna do this for about a minute. Okay, you start to do your side to side toe touches. Start making it a little wider. Turn your trackers on if you haven't already. Move your arms to kind of get some more motion into it. We'll do it this way. Okay. Starting to get the blood flowing. Okay, I'm going to start doing some hamstring stretch with it. So that means my heel is coming up to touch my butt. Here, you can start doing knee ups. So pull those knees up high. Okay, and we are done with our one minute workout. You can do that longer if you want. Some people warm up five minutes. You want to do a little bit of cardio beforehand. For the sake of the video, I'm just kind of getting you stretched, body to flowing blood flowing and then getting right into the exercises okay so because we are doing upper body today our only equipment we're going to use our dumbbells you can do this with no weight i guess but this is targeted towards a dumbbell workout okay the first exercise that we have here get your dumbbells whatever size they are i'm going to go ahead and start with my 15s these are going to be alternative hammer raises, so you're going to just come straight up. Keep your weight in your heels, so you're grounding your heels. You're not going to bounce, you're going to keep your back straight. This movement is all just in your arms. This is a lot of shoulder work, deltoids. to 12 of those. Okay, 
leg, get those done. Try to keep your arm as straight as possible with your back straight, with your heels planted, and just this motion here. So that's gonna be your hammer raise. Okay, I just finished my other two set of those, and I'm already feeling it big time there. So going straight from the hammer raise, let's go ahead and go into a hammer curl. Okay, so instead of focusing most of the workout up here, now we're gonna incorporate our biceps as well. So go ahead and get here. So now we're just curling up. We're doing alternative. alternative. Some people do it at the same time. I like to focus on each arm. And if you notice, I hold the weight here, kind of on the top part of the dumbbell, instead of holding that grip in the middle when I pump these out. For our next exercise, what we're going to do is pretty much like a bicep curl, but then turn it and press. I'm going to go with the lower weight for these. I do have a pinched nerve, so as much as I would like to really pump out some heavy ones, I have to be careful because then I'll be laid up for a few days and nobody's got time for that, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and go with my 10 pounds. From here, again, you want to keep your shoulders kind of in and we're almost like they're attached here, right? But kind of relax here. You're gonna curl up, turn, and tap those dumbbells. Okay? Two. Let them hit your legs, because we're doing a full extension down. Curl up, touch. Keeping your shoulder blades straight. Try to control the alignment that they're going up and down. Don't let them get too wobbly. It's getting serious now, guys. I'm already starting my whole sweat pedal here. So hopefully you're already starting to feel like a really good burn. So let's move on to our next one. Now this is kind of like what we just did with the shoulder press, but instead we're going to do a reverse 
curl almost, because usually your curls, you know, do this. We're gonna go reverse curl with a press. So the tricks can get gnarly. So I'm gonna go with a lower weight now because I just worked out my shoulders. So let's go ahead and do 10 of these. So start here, reverse, up, come back, two, three, Last one of this set. <laughs> okay, go ahead and do your other two, whatever's comfortable for you. But this is definitely, we're gonna feel this. So I'm excited about this workout today. Be right back. So our next exercise, this one is a little challenging. I'm going with a lower weight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start here. We're gonna go up to the middle. We're gonna bring it up and touch. Middle, down, touch, middle, up, middle, down. bent over dumbbell row so with these I've got a little heavier weights I'm going with my 20s um, so the form I'll show you without the dumbbell you just get bent over and of course you know that we always ground our heels that's where our weight's sitting okay get comfortable in your hips and you're gonna get bent over the row of course is this motion so that is what we're going for we're imagining our elbows have strings and they're being pulled up to the ceiling in a straight line, not all over the place, but in one motion, we're gonna keep it right there. Okay, so that is the form. Then you just add your dumbbells. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on those. Let's do 10, of course, do 12, 15, whatever you wanna do. I'm lifting a little heavier and I've got that pinch nerve, so I'm staying with this and I'm gonna do 10 three times. Okay, I'll do the first set with you. I'm getting in my position, my heels are planted. I'm getting bent over, and here we go. Watch the elbows. And you're gonna envision those shoulder blades pinching together as you're coming up. So just as you're, those elbows are being pulled up, you do that muscle or mind to muscle connection right here in the back where you're pinching in those shoulder blades, okay? Look, it's a mess. All right, I'm gonna finish my other two sets. You guys go ahead. Okay, we are almost done. This is almost our last exercise, so don't leave me. Okay, what this one is, is a dumbbell snatch. Now that word comes from CrossFit. They do a lot of different kind of snatch exercises, things like that. This one, I particularly like a lot. So what I do, I have my uh, dumbbell on the floor. Sorry, I am winded. <laughs> Ooh, I shouldn't have waited until one o'clock to work out. But okay, so the motion is we're gonna grab the dumbbell, we're gonna come up and the snatch is just a, a term for a quick pull up, okay? So this isn't gonna be slow. So you're gonna grab it, but while you do that, you're gonna keep your back straight, you're gonna pull down, snatch. So we're kind of, it's a fluid motion. You go down and pull up and snatch, okay? That's what we're doing here. And again, if you need to use really low weights, that's totally fine. I'm just gonna do my 20 because I need to challenge myself. I haven't worked arms in a couple days. So go ahead and let's get started. All right. 
I'm going to do 10 on each arm. My weight's staying in my heels. Ooh. Okay, there's 10 on that side. I'm already up to like 140 heartbeats, so we're gonna start down here. One, two, I've got to do two more. See you in a second. This is a sumo high pull. I like the sumo stance because I feel like it doesn't put as much pressure on my knees. That's just me. So sumo means that we're kind of out further than usual. So this is my stance here. Okay, this is a sumo stance. So what I'm going to do with that now, the, the dumbbells that we've been using, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that up and raise it. Okay, and raise it. Do a little bit of a squat with it, keep your heels, and raise it. We're gonna work all of our shoulders back here, our delts, you're gonna feel all this. So I'm using a 20 pound, use whatever you have. And you could go higher if you want to since it's just one. I mean, I probably could get away with doing the 25, but I'm pretty much almost to muscle failure by all the sets that we've just got done doing. We're on our ninth exercise. I think I might stick with that whole nasty nine thing. I think that's just enough to really get like a good burn, but not overdo it. So let's go ahead and go into our sumo high folds, okay? So I've got my dumbbell, my knees are planted. Now I'm gonna start pulling it up. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, go ahead, do your other two sets. I'm gonna finish mine and then we'll come back and close out together. Okay guys, we just finished it. We did upper body with our dumbbells. So um, I usually keep a pair in my car just so that wherever I am, if I need to get in a quick 30 minute workout like we just did, you can knock them out. But um, great job on that one. Obviously you can see that we worked up a good sweat. Come tune in with me tomorrow. We'll do lower body. If you have any requests, let me know. Please subscribe and like, I'd really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Thanks for all the love and support.